The camera's kind of crooked, but it's okay. We'll have to make it work. Maybe that's better. I look a little busted today, you guys. Do not mind. <laughs> I'm going to wait for a few people to join before I actually do the update. But hello, who's all there? Let's see, let's see. Pulling up the live right now. Make sure to drink your water. Oh, it's already nine. I didn't realize how late it was, you guys. Well, it's not too late, but. <sighs> oh, Kitty's live. I didn't see Kitty was live. Leandra's live. There's a couple girlies live tonight. Let me see what Kitty's talking about. <laughs> Let's see. what she's doing real quick but hello everybody who is all out there oh it looks like she might be wrapping too I don't know. Oh, she might be just be talking. I don't know. But let's see what Leandro's doing. <laughs> I'm all seeing what people are doing. Oh, she's just chilling. But hello, everybody. Who's all out there? Let me see. I need to pull up my do -do -do. my video so I can see you guys' comments. For those of you who don't know, I watched a video on my iPad, so I can see you guys' comments. That's the only way. But hello, Tim, Shelly, Brando, Vincent, Clara, Thurl, Alex said, been wondering when you were going to upload or go live. Hope your Christmas shopping is just about done. Alex... I'm stressing a little. <laughs> um, my personal Christmas shopping, I was able to cross a few names off my list. So we're getting there. We're getting there. <clears throat> Good evening, Sierra. Merry holidays. Thank you, Carrie. Hi, Amber. Hi, OK. Hi, Rachel. Hello, Fernanda. How's everybody doing tonight, you guys? Um, I don't know how to do this setup right here. So I have a few things I'm going to wrap. I have majority of the items wrapped already. Um, I did some wrapping last night and today. So I did a few things and then I was like, oh shoot, before I finish wrapping, I need to give the people an update because I know a lot of you did donate to the, the gift drive and I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who donated to the gift drive um this is just this really doesn't have anything to do with me you know per, like me yeah i'm helping kitty do it yeah i'm gathering like the gifts and stuff but honestly it's because of the donors that this is possible so thank you to everybody who donated um i believe we had for me Let's see. So for San Carlos, I'm doing, so for those of you who don't know, we're doing a gift drive for the, I'm teaming up with What Would Kitty Do? And we're doing a gift drive, um, doing a gift drive for the San Carlos and the White Mountain Apache Youth Homes. I'm trying to remember my password. And we called them and we got a list of, we got a list of their size, like their clothes sizes and things that they kind of want. So we were able to get that from the youth that were in the youth homes. And for me, I'm doing the San Carlos. 
I'm doing the San Carlos uh, youth, which there's um, there's six kids there, and all of them are under the age of eight. The oldest one is eight. I have an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, a one-and-a-half-year-old, a four-year-old, and a, four a five-year-old. So I have six kids all together. Hey. <laughs> but um, so those ones are the, the kids that I did. And we had about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, we had about 27 people who donated. So thank you to everybody who donated, everybody who made this possible. Um, whether it was you donated a mon monetary gift, items, Amazon wish list. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who donated and um, wanted to help help us out by getting these gifts to them. So thank you. Ayeho. Um, and I am happy to say that we got all the items for all the kids, for San Carlos, for San Carlos only. Kitty is doing White Mountain Youth Home, and I believe she has 12, 10 or 12, I don't remember, but she has a lot more kids um, on her hands, so she has about 10 or 12, I think she has 12. Um, so she, I think she's not done yet. So if you guys still want to donate, definitely give her, hit her up. Um, or you can also send it to me and I can send it to her. Cause I think I might have actually, I might have a few to like give her that way she can, um, purchase a few, a few more items that are needed for her kiddos. So she has about 12 students, or kids, I, I think. But um, yeah, I, I definitely was a struggle. <laughs> Not necessarily like a struggle. For me, it was like, I don't have kids. You know, I don't have kids. I don't have experience with kids. So trying to find kids size and clothing your girl was lost i was i was lost <laughs> but i got it figured out and thanks to google i was able to determine what was needed you know or what the right sizes so um yeah so a lot of so the things that i got um each kid so each kid got at least two toys. So they got at least two toys. Um, and then I got, I was able to get shoes for all six kids. I got a pair of so uh, pack of socks, PJs, sh two shirts, a pack of undies, pants, and a jacket. So I think that was pretty good. Um, yeah it was pretty good but all the kiddos are done on my end so my end they're all done kitty is still um doing it for her her kids so if you guys still feel like donating definitely hit up her and see how you can um help donate to her i believe she's wanting to buy shoes for the kids that's the last i heard um and then yeah, I just want to say thank you again to everybody who donated and helped make this possible. Um, for me, honestly, I'm just glad I'm able to use my platform to work together with you guys to do things like this. So thank you. And also shout out to Kitty for teaming, teaming up with me, you know, or me teaming up with her to help her get this done. So this was really fun, honestly. I feel like... I had a, I, I'm having a lot more fun doing this, um, out of all the things that I did, <laughs> but, uh, I feel like I'm having a lot more fun doing this and I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the shopping <laughs> or if it's like the wrapping or, and also like 
every time I go, I was shopping for like the little kid stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I was like getting clothes that I would like get my kid, you know, like things like that. So I think that was probably had a lot to do with it. <clears throat> and then as far as the shopping, like I went to a couple stores to find like the best deal for everything, uh, mainly the shoes, which I'm happy I was able to find at least like pretty good sh main brand shoes you know i was able to f find them for like 30 bucks 30 35 the most was like 40 dollars, but that was for like the eight year old but otherwise like i think i kept pretty good like my budget was good we have some leftover for gas and um anything else that if i do decide to get anything else so <sighs> but yeah i'm i'm waiting on a few more i think i'm only waiting on one i'm only waiting on one more item from amazon then we are good to go <laughs> so yay thank you to everybody who donated again i cannot say it enough so thank you thank you thank you um uh, let me see let me make sure that order is still coming tomorrow. I believe it's coming tomorrow. Yeah, it's a set of PJs coming tomorrow. Which I could have just bought at like Walmart, but it's okay. Um, let's see. And also shout out to one of my friends. She like basically sponsored a whole kid. She bought all the things for like one kid and we went shopping together. So it was really fun. Um, let me see, what was I going to look for? But yay, I feel, our deadline, when was our deadline? Our deadline's the 18th. And then we're looking to hopefully, um, we're looking to hopefully uh deliver next week but we haven't i haven't heard back from the lady i left her a message over at san carlos yes our friday and i haven't heard back from her so i don't know and also i need to take time off so i need to take time off from work to be able to deliver these items so i'm like come on i need to know what day i need to take off um so that's another thing that I'm kind of worried about <clears throat> because my boss usually wants a two week notice and obviously it's not going to be two weeks. <laughs> so hopefully I don't know what's going to happen there. But again, I just want to say thank you again to everybody. Um, <clears throat> I can show you a few of the stuff that um, that's a mess. This whole area is all messy. But we have like a little Paw Patrol, a little Paw Patrol toy. Um, we have a pair of Converse sneakers. These are super cute. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that I bought, I was like buying as if they were my kid, you know? So I didn't buy like anything cheap. But even like, I'm a sales girl. Like I look for sales. I keep my, I don't know. I get the emails. I get the coupons. Like all the all the shoes I was able to buy for like thirty bucks or so, so pretty cool. But these are super cute. I was like, oh, these shoes are really cute. Look. Uh, there we go. And then we have this little toy. Super cute. And then we have some blocks. There we have the blocks. And then we have Tonka trucks. Are these Tonka? Oh, these are these are tractors. You can disassemble and assemble them. Super cute. It has like a little screwdriver and stuff. All right. Let me check the comments real quick. Where was I at? Oh. 
Hi, Fernanda. We pay a few fresh blood sausage this Christmas. What? <laughs> Native educator, good evening. Doing good, staying warm. Just stopping by to show some love and hit the like button. Thank you, Curtis. Hit the button, y'all. Thank you. Hello, Mid Mid Madeline. Are the kids allowed to have a Christmas stocking with treats in it? That's what I was thinking. Um, I was thinking of doing like Christmas stockings with like snacks in there. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Um, but that would be super cute. That would be super cute. Play because we did get um Amy who donated some candy canes and like I think they're chocolate candies. So we have some stuff, but it would be pretty cool to like add little snacks. 12 kids. Oh, okay, yeah, she has 12 kids. Good evening, Michelle. Thank you to you as well for making room out of your day to help these children. Thank you, it happened out there is. Hello, RS, RVSD. Oh, also, who I know on my last live, I mentioned that I was like, I never got the three toys someone bought through the Amazon list. I did get them. They were they were just at my P.O. box. I guess I didn't add my address on my Amazon list. So shout out. Thank you so much for sending it to my P.O. box. Because I didn't even know it was there. I didn't check my mail. But thank you. I did get those um, those car, those uh, toys. So thank you. The struggle will all pay off once you see the happiness of the faces of the children and youth. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see them. Like, I was thinking we were just going to drop it off. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking with, like, everything that's going on with, like, the kids getting sick and stuff. I would be surprised if they let us, like, if they let us watch or, like, not watch. That's kind of creepy. But just like be there, you know, um, I'm personally fine with just dropping it off and I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if um, we'll be able to see them open it, but that'll be cool. But I I'm OK with just dropping off. I'm not sure. Um, I love that you are doing this. I have been doing this since I was little. Just drop presents off today. Oh, that's nice, Birdie. Can I drop Kitty's info in the comments? Sure. I love giving toys. Uh, yeah, so there's Kitty's info. What would Kitty do? One, two at gmail.com. Good evening, Sierra. Thank you for helping with Kitty. What are you ladies doing? Makes me my heart happy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much, Amy. Also, the wrapping paper that you um, donated is what I'm using for all the wrapping. So definitely coming in handy. I think after I'm done, I'll, I'll be able to give them all to um, to Kitty. So she'll be able to do her wrap, wrapping. When are you two making the delivery? I'm not sure. Which I'm trying to get in contact with San Carlos to see if I can set a date. Um, I'm not sure if Kitty is in contact with White Mountain, um, but like I said, I need to know ASAP because I need to request time off from work. So tomorrow I'll probably give them a call again. I feel bad because, I, I mean not bad, but like I feel weird because I feel like I just keep calling them and I'm one of those people that I feel like if I call someone and they don't answer, that I'm bothering them. So I feel like I'm bothering, like, I'm bothering them trying to get this information. <laughs> Even like the list part, I felt like I was, I just kept bothering them and bugging them and bugging them. I don't know, but I think that's just me. We'll see. Uh, what a great supporter you are. I like that. I try to do my part as well. Thank you, Alex. Uh, yeah, so cash app for Kitty is what would Kitty do? Venmo is what would Kitty do? Glad it all turned out so good for the Indian kiddos. You and Kitty have big hearts to coordinate all this and deliver it all. Yeah, Kitty's the one who had the grand master plan. 
Um, she just kind of, I just kind of told her I would help her. So, shout out to her. <laughs> she said PayPal takes a percentage as well, just to let you know. Yeah, PayPal takes a percentage, Cash App takes a percentage, Venmo takes a percentage. The only one that doesn't is Zelle. <laughs> Cute shoes, all very thoughtful selections. Thank you. I see our kitty's live too. Oh yeah, I, I saw her live and I was checking out her live at the beginning. I didn't, so I didn't see she was live until after I went live. Okay, let me know on the Christmas stocking and how many with your list and kitties list. I'll get right on it so you can have them on time. I'm thinking the stocking's already made. Oh, thank you, Clara. What's up, my native sister? Kitty says hi. Oh, hi to Kitty. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, you have to choose um, friends and family on PayPal. Kitty has my email address. Good evening, Sierra. Are you near a Macy's? Um, yeah. You, I'm near Chandler Mall. So Chandler Mall, you can do Macy's there. Macy's, yeah. So, again, um, I was able to get all the items for my kiddos. Let's see, let me let me show you guys an example of a a bag. Hold on. Uno momento, por favor. We have a pair of pants, some jeans, two shirts, yeah, two shirts. I was thinking I should have got long sleeves, but it's okay. And then we have some boxers and this jacket. I really like the way this jacket looks. Very cute. The socks. This one, I'm still waiting on the PJ. So, I haven't packaged it yet. Still waiting on the PJ. Um, I will donate Thursday. Oh, okay, thank you, JJ. <laughs> it's freezing here in Gallup. Blessings to you for helping Sierra and Kitty. Yes, thank you, Clara. Um, all right, I guess. So I've been like being super organized <laughs> because I didn't want to like miss getting a kid something or like the wrong size or anything, which I'm glad you guys. I haven't had to return anything. <laughs> um I got all the right sizes for all the kids and yeah, my organizational skills were on top 10. Yeah, they were 10 out of 10. But like, you'll see like these numbers on here. These like belong to that kid. So like, this is for the five-year-old, which is blocks, wooden blocks. <coughs> And then like this one is for the four-year-old. It's a little funny, big adventure, open up thinking, concentrate on hands-on ability. Um, reminds me of tribal clothing, but much nicer. I can only imagine the excitement of new clothes. 
yeah so super exciting um yeah i don't know when we're gonna deliver next week for sure um I wanted to do it in a day, but Kitty wants to do it in two days. She wants to do two days, two a two day trip. I want to do a one day trip. <laughs> um, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how their schedule works too. And then also, I need to make sure I can take those days off because it's so close already. So. Hopefully everything works out. Um, I think I, I need to get three more. I need to get three boxes so I can put those clothes in. I didn't want to wrap them individually. So I just kind of threw them in a big box like this. Like a box like this. So all like the clothes is in here. This is for the eight year old. So his box is pretty big. I need to wrap that. Let's get some of this stuff down here and start wrapping a little. So how's everybody's Christmas shopping going? Did anybody get me anything? Hey, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll ask you. Huh? I'll ask you for Christmas. Oh, I got this in my mail. In my mail, so shout out to Joe, who got me this. This is super cute, look at his little gnome. Too bad the Broncos suck, but thank you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> but this is super cute. I got this. And, oh, Charlie. I also got, um. I got your Christmas card. Thank you, Charlie, for the Christmas card. I love it. My first Christmas card. Thank you. You didn't put a return address, though. So I I would mail one back, but I don't have your address. So I know some people were asking if I was doing Christmas cards. Um... This year, no, I'm not going to do Christmas cards like I did last year. Um, I feel like all my time is just going to be focused on the toy drive or the gift drive. I think I got glitter in my eye. On the gift drive. And then also, like, the cost of everything is just a lot. <laughs> and I'm only going to send cards back to people who send me a card. <laughs> So if there's a return address on there and you send me a card, I'll send one right back to you. I need to get some cards too, which reminds me. But um, yeah. Bless your heart for doing that for the kids. If the option to distribute the gifts to the kids slash youth is available, you should do it. That way you can confirm everything was received by the kids slash youth. Yeah. Um yeah, I think I think so. I'm yeah, I'm just a little worried that I think with all the kids getting sick and stuff, I don't know if they're going to be willing to do that. So, we'll see though. Because I give and ask for nothing in return. Oh, well, I will email you through a card yeah charlie email me hello from choctaw oklahoma so again i'm not gonna do christmas cards like i did last year i think last year i sent over 300 cards that was a lot of cards <laughs> i think i spent like over a hundred in postage that does it even because i made the cards myself i didn't even um oh that doesn't include the supplies I purchased to make the cards and that didn't include what am I trying to say that didn't include the stuff I made or the time like it took forever <laughs> so I was like damn now I know I'm not gonna make cards again because they took forever um 
but yeah, if you want to send me a card, feel free to. My P.O. box is in all my videos. I don't think they're in my lives, but they're in my other videos and also on my YouTube channel. My, my YouTube About Me page. What the heck? <sighs> my freaking neighbor's making the mo most noise upstairs if you can hear something. Um, hello Native Rose. If anyone would like to send Sierra a card, here's her Addy. Yes. P.O. Box 12232 Tempe, Arizona 85284. Yes, thank you. Okay. Good night. Got to go. Okay, Clara, thank you for tuning in. Don't talk about how much anything costs because you're doing it from your heart. Yeah, I understand that. I do. Um, but last year I did it as in like I left it open to everybody and I had like an open Excel doc. So I think it's only fair if I only send those. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was a lot though. Um, but I did have fun doing it. I did have fun doing it. And a lot of you did send cards back too. So it was really fun. I think the part where my heart was in it was when I physically made all the cards. <laughs> Thank you for what you both are doing. The kids will be excited. Ah, oh, my neighbors on top are nosy. Noisy every night. Can't sleep good. I know, they're so loud. I don't know what they're doing up there. Oh my gosh, they must have like wood wooden like a wooden um wooden what do you call it a wooden dinner table or chairs or something because they're always dragging that thing around so i'm gonna fix this So, did you guys get your Christmas shopping done? Are you guys still shopping? Did you guys get your wrapping done? How is it going? Um, which paper should I use? Oh, which one is this? Six. Um, I'm trying to like switch it up too. That way they're not all the same. Um, let's do this candy cane. Candy cane. Hey, candy cane. <laughs> Does anybody know where that movie or that what that shows in? It's all candy cane. Candy cane. Hey, candy cane. Let's see. Let's see. Get up to there. One, two, three. One, two, three. I like how all the wrapping paper has this, um, the lines in the back now. Man, remember a few years ago when they never put the lines in the back? how much a struggle it was to like cut a straight line. The only ones that had like the lines in the back were like the expensive ones. <laughs> now they all have it. I was kind of wrapping my, the gifts that I got for my family too. So I put all the scraps like down here. I've been wrapping for like two days. Two whole days. Do you guys like to wrap? Like gifts? Me. Not actually wrap, wrap. We'll cut up to here. I like to wrap. I like to wrap if it's like uh boxes <laughs> if it's like weird objects i just i 
just don't like the way it turns out. It gets all messy. It's all messy. But that's all I'm going to do, you guys. I'm just going to um, wrap some gifts, hang out with y'all. Maybe you're wrapping gifts, too. We can wrap together. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start really rapid. I hope I have that um Christmas. I was watching her live, and she kept saying last night, <laughs> and I keep wanting to say that. Yes, yes, that candy cane. Look at this uh, wrapping paper. <laughs> it's all candy canes. It's all, it's all candy cane. Hey, candy cane. He's all, <laughs> he's all getting all mad. Because candy cane wasn't responding to him. <laughs> Man, the only reason I liked that movie was Paul Walker was in there. He is so, so cute. Man, I was so sad when he passed away. That's probably, he's probably like the only actor that I've gotten sad about passing away. Um, where was I? No Christmas shopping yet. Have not bought one single gift yet. <laughs> What a day, just getting, oh, hey, D. Just getting to relax for a bit, I DM'd you. Wish I had more energy to help you wrap tonight. Oh, I didn't check my um, Instagram yet. Uh, I've been too, well, I was kind of watching the Cardinal game earlier. I was wrapping earlier, and then I started watching the Cardinal game. And then, um, I started wrapping again. <laughs> And all your neighbors remind me of my old apartment in Colorado. I don't know if the wallpaper, walls were paper thin, but our upstairs neighbors were going at it and my spouse. And I said, let's sleep in the living room. <laughs> Joyride. Yes, Joyride. Rusty Nail. Yes. <laughs> How was the concert you attended? Oh, yeah. Me and Kitty, we went to um, the Jaw Rule and what is it? Nelly, Jaw Rule. Shanti, um, who else was there? Nelly, Nelly, Jaru, Ashanti. Hold on, can't I can't multitask? I guess Nelly, Jaru, Ashanti, Ying Yang twins, and Mace. Yeah, they were all there. Um, it was pretty good. I had a good time. The sound kind of sucked though. Like, we, me and Kitty were like, "This sound is shitty." Like, you could, some parts you could, you could hear them more than like the music, and it just sounded so like it didn't sound good. Let's just say that it didn't sound like their album for sure. <laughs> um. Which is understandable because it's, yeah, it's live, but very rare people sound like how they do on their album. <laughs> but no, it was more of the sound quality that sucked. But it was definitely a throwback. Like we were all singing away. I almost lost my voice because I was all rapping to freaking Ja Rule <laughs> and Nelly. We had a lot of fun. Um... I was like, wow, I didn't realize how much, um, how much of Ja Rule's songs I knew. <laughs> so, 
It was really fun. Oh, and another thing, our our tickets. So we were sitting on the nosebleeds, like nosebleeds, nosebleeds. We were sitting like way up there and here this native lady, she was look she we were walking to our section and she we, I kinda noticed her looking and she kept like looking, looking and I was just like thinking in my head like does this lady know like know us or why does she keep looking? Anyways she just kind of like yells over and she was like they're upgrading she said something like they're upgrading tickets there's a usher, there's two ushers over there i think she said two ladies and a guy or something like that so we were like oh okay so we went over there and sure enough they were upgrading people's tickets to the bottom section um and we we like were able to get upgraded to the bottom and the seats were like way better <laughs> um so that was really cool we're like hey shout out to that lady honestly because we we would have just walked by the ushers thinking like you know minding our own business trying to find our seats i am sad that i missed um i missed the yin yang twins though I was all prepping myself. I'm all listening to the whisper song. And I was excited to see the yin yang twins for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a yin yang girl. I don't know. But otherwise, the concert was pretty good. Had a lot of fun. It was definitely a good, good time to remember the high school days. It was like... 8th grade, 8th grade to like high school for me. Them days. I was like, oh, I remember when this song came out. Like, you know, like certain memories will flash through your head whenever you see a song. That's kind of how it was when, when I was there. It's just remembering my dorm days, my days at Newcomb High School. We. <sighs> Dang, I'm all doing Christmas shopping, but also in the middle of moving. We had movers that are doing it for us, and they're coming back tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that would be the worst to, like, move during Christmas. Because you have to pack everything, and I don't know. And it's already stressful as it is. Man, good luck. Good luck to you. So, what is your email address? I don't see it on your About You page. Um... It's Sierra Johnson Creative at gmail.com. I told my 12 year old I was rapping. He tells his little brother and sister they were all waiting outside my door. I come out. What are you guys doing? They say, We wanted to hear you rap. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, hey there, Nejone. Spit something then, me. <laughs> Rap while you rap. I know, huh? Wow, looks like fun. <laughs> yes, Sierra Johnson Creative at gmail.com. Yes, there's the email. Hello, Renee. Hello, Steve. Hello, Jarvis. Hey, Mr. Ryan. You doing gift wrapping services? Hey, I can. Yes, I can rap for you. Yay. Hi, Nijoni's Be Beauty Bar. Yat A from Sheldon Stevo. Hello. Welcome to the live, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello, Daybreak Warrior. <clears throat> Are you back from your trip? It looks like you had a lot of fun. Dang, it's cold here in Phoenix. It is cold, huh? I'm all wearing a sweater inside. Hello, it happened off the res. Never thought I would say that. When you be delivering to San Carlos? I'm not sure. Um, next week, though. We'll be doing them um, next week. We don't have a confirmed date. I did try to reach out to them and I left a message. So I didn't get a return call back as of today. So I'll probably call them again tomorrow. <clears throat> Hi, Evie. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, we'll be home by Christmas, dropped our babies off there with grandparents, which was a huge blessing. Oh, wow. Why are you moving? 
Didn't you live on the East Coast? Don't you live on the East Coast? We miss Anna Lynn live and Christmas. I always miss Anna Lynn's lives. Sometimes I'll catch Christmas live. But I usually will watch, if I, if I miss Christmas's live, I'll watch later. But I don't think Anna Lynn saves her lives because I never see them. <laughs> Um, where is, what color bow, I'll use red. Red for a candy cane. This is for number six. Wait, is this for number six? Man, I want to make sure. I want to make sure I didn't forget. Let's see. And this is a 13. Yes. Okay. This is for him. We'll do the little penguin. I don't know what to put for from. I've just been putting Santa. <laughs> so I just put from Santa. From Shanta. From Mrs. Clausy. From the future Mrs. Claus. Yeah. <laughs> From Grandma Claus, she says. <clears throat> Woohoo, there we go, one down. I'm a good wrapper, I feel like. I can wrap I can wrap boxes pretty good when it comes to the odd stuff like this. I'm gonna do this one. This is a little more challenging. This is for number five. Okay, what wrapping should we use? It has to be a thick one. I did open this one already. I just put the plastic back on. I haven't been beating lately. I've been... I've been too busy wrapping away. Let me see. family but we're finally staying stable and close to home oh okay for some reason i don't know why i was thinking the east coast it's 24 degrees now here in utah we got some snow earlier with the light wind almost like a blizzard i heard it's snowing i think in blackstaff right now used to live on the east coast oh okay yeah see i think that's what i remember you saying you mentioned you lived on the east coast um, <clears throat> okay sorry I'm moving my camera a little bit. Um, 
I try to watch everyone's lives, but it's a hit or miss. Same here. I tried to like at least tune in for a little bit, but I feel like I'm always like busy doing something to where I can't really tune in the whole time. I think the the only person I really watch live are probably kitties only because I'm usually like because she goes live in the mornings and in the evenings when I'm like winding down you know <clears throat> so I don't know if that's why I think kitties I usually can I usually catch um I usually catch Navajo Man's and Christmas I think those are the three every once in a while mr ryan but it's a hit or miss for him too <clears throat> hello from seattle washington love your videos thank you carlina um how cold does it get in phoenix it can get pretty cold um i think right now it probably gets in the high 40s at night, maybe? Something like that? Thanks, Yuri, you wrapped that nicely. Thank you. Can you help me wrap a car? I can. <laughs> From Santa. I always tell my family the only time we are going to Phoenix is during winter. <laughs> Auntie Claus. Hey, that's funny. That's a good one. Wow, that is some nice wrapping. Thank you. Good evening, Sierra. Cold in Phoenix. LOL. It's 30 right now in Bismarck, but expecting a huge winter storm till Thursday. <gasps> wow, good luck there. Oh my, snowy day in the high country here. Burr. Figures when I come into town. <coughs> What's going on from Apache Junction? Hello in Apache Junction. <clears throat> My throat got all itchy for some reason. We're all good though. Welcome to the live. Um, we've been working seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Oh wow. little ASMR moment that sound when using the wrapping paper <laughs> hey you just saying that because I'm on the live <laughs> it's 40 here so far just rain oh, oh and black stuff yeah I would say here maybe it gets I don't know like I would say maybe Wait, how am I doing this? Hold on. Oh, I had to think for a moment. This is going to be an awkward one. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. degrees here but it's windy so it feels colder Seattle Washington oh okay <laughs> I thought you were near me <clears throat> I need to wrap gifts also I just got them sorted just need to wrap now I keep saying tomorrow I know I kept I had just like the gifts all like in the corner and then I kept saying like, oh, I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tonight. And then I was like, I better do it before I end up doing it last minute. <laughs> so finally I started, which I'm glad I did. Because once I start, I'm not going to stop until I'm done. <laughs> so I think, well, actually, no, I can't. I can't finish it tonight because I still need boxes. I need three boxes, three medium, small, like 
medium sized boxes. I'm thinking of just going to the post office and getting, <laughs> taking like the little boxes they have there. Thinking about it. I tried to go to Walmart to find some, but they did not have any. <clears throat> Okay, this is a little tricky. Let's, um, let's just do whatever we can. So get this done. Get this done. Okay. Might need to cut a little part here. wise of me to do. Okay. 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 This one might not be so nice. <laughs> I should have. No. Mm, I hope all of you guys doing good. Any cool trips you got planned? I don't have any trips planned. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't have any trips planned. Just going home for the new year. I won't be going home for Christmas because my family decided to do Christmas on New Year's. Because my sister has to work. So... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas. I'll just put this right here, huh? <clears throat> Wrapping gifts takes time for real. I buy a bottle of wine, wrap gifts, and make it a night. Ooh, that sounds nice. I didn't even think of buying a bottle of wine. That sounds really nice right now. Gonna get all buzzed. <laughs> just, kidding. just gonna get all buzzed. Wrapping gifts. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Look. Woohoo! That's not bad for this oddly shaped gift. Hold on. Let me finish the other side first. <clears throat> Personally, wrap the more expensive ones, then I would ask my sister to finish up. I like Christmas music in the background, makes it more festive, and yes, on the wine. <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. I didn't even think about that. It's okay. It's okay. And then I cut it. I cut it right here. Down here, and then go back. And I this. I should have had a Christmas wrap contest, me like an actual wrap. Battle contests with the YouTubers. <laughs> That's great. That would have been funny, huh? Have a little, a little Christmas battle. A little friendly YouTube rap battle. <laughs> Mr. Ryan would probably win. Just kidding. <laughs> This one's a little messy, but it's not bad. 
she'll do. <laughs> I'll show you that. The cars are all sideways. The cars are driving upward. <laughs> Unless if I just lay it flat like that. I, know. I might just do that. Okay. <clears throat> Personally, oh yeah, right. Yeah, I think I have to. I've only crossed off my family from my family list. My mom, my sister, my two sisters, and my brother's daughter, stepdaughter. So I only have four people off my list so far. <laughs> um. This is four. This is for the four year old who likes Paw Patrol. Oh, update on the drive. I have no one. Um. Oh, Paula, I did the whole update on at the beginning of the video, but I can do another one for those of you who just joined. <clears throat> so, for San Carlos, the the kids that I'm handling, there's six kids. All the items are purchased. So I was able to purchase all the items and we're good to go. We're thinking about doing maybe snack bags or like a snack stocking, not too sure yet. And then Kitty who is handling White River Youth Homes has 12 kids. And I believe she's still um, receiving donations so if you're will if you're wanting to donate, definitely hit her up, and she'll let you know what she needs, or maybe you can send a monetary donation her way. But yeah, this is um I'm not too sure how far along she is on her list though. I'm not sure how many items she still needs. Remember on Christmas, you're all, you're all trying to guess what your mom got you. <laughs> Let's see. This is for... Oh, I didn't put a name on this. Oh, wait, no. This is for number two because I remember Siri got this one. Okay. Okay. I think that's like my my problem <laughs> is I don't know which wrapping paper I want to use. I think I'm going to use this car one since it's tractors. Yeah. I'll use the little car one. What I'm wondering is like are the youth homes going to let the kids keep these toys for themselves, you know? Or are they going to be like, no, it's everybody's toy. I don't know. I'm kind of curious on that. Because, you know, the other kids are probably going to want to play with somebody else's toy and stuff like that. I don't know if maybe they have a playroom that they're just going to leave all the toys in or how that's going to work. I don't know. <clears throat> she said she got done with her list, but Kitty needs some help. 
So happy your gift drive was a success. Thank you, D. Good night, everyone. Check your DM. Okay, I will. I will. I sure will. I think everybody's starting to go to sleep now, huh? Well, it was nice to be on your live. All right. Well, thank you for joining Shelly and Stevo. Are you the ones that I met at Tuba City? At the fair? That was my thought also. Do the kids keep the toys or will it be too... A donation to the entire youth home right I don't know I I know kitty sounds like it's more personalized to them but I don't know about San Carlos and how it works I'm pretty sure that the clothes will be to them I don't know if they're going to, like, have them put the toys, like, in the toy room or wherever they keep their toys. I don't know. I hope they get to keep their own toys, though. <clears throat> um, no, not yet. For some reason, I thought I I met you and your wife, Nikki. Let's see this one. Did anybody go to the round dance that was here in um in Phoenix? In Phoenix, I guess Tanya Jo Hall and her man Joel were there. I didn't even, well, I knew about it, but that day I was really tired, which was Saturday, because I was out shopping for the drive, and I was with Siri that day too, and I helped her like move couches and stuff, so I was pretty tired that day, and I fell asleep, I started falling asleep watching TV probably around like 6. Then I just went in my room and I crashed out. I was out. Well, that day, I was tired. But the next day, I saw like all these pictures and stuff from my, all my friends that met her. I was like, dang it. I should have went. It looked really fun. I could have worn my ribbon dress there. <laughs> laundry too. My my laundry's been piling up. <laughs> my my laundry. Chicage eh. All stinky and piling up. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Good stuff. What else can I talk about with you guys? What do you guys want to know? I'm sure not that many people are going to watch this video. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys want to know? I'll tell you. I'll tell you all the secrets. Just kidding. Just kidding. No secrets. Is Kitty still alive? Let me see what she's talking about. Let's drop in on her.
Um, I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's um. I think she's just talking. I'm not sure. Okay, let me go back to y'all's comments. My pops had a story when he went to Brookham City Indian School back in the day. He said him and his buddies used to send each other their dirty shorts to each other on Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, I see her. That's funny. Ew. That's hilarious though. <laughs> Something guys would do, huh? You guys are just so funny. This is for number, wait, no, this is for two, okay. Come on, marker, marker. This marker is not working. Well, what's up with this? I need... I need a walker. Let's see, let's see. Man. Um. From Auntie Claus. See. <laughs> That's funny. That's all funny. Put that there. I have a tendency to put the bows in the corners. Babies are set in San Carlos, so she's including toddlers on up. They need seven pairs of shoes. She has five girls whom she needs to get a set of clothes for. <gasps> Man, she still has a lot of stuff to get, huh? Oh, you mean in White River, not San Carlos. So, okay, he's talking about White River, not San Carlos. San Carlos is already done, which is what I'm doing. So, the kids in San Carlos are set. Kitty is taking care of White Mountain, which she still needs. She still needs help fulfilling their items. So, be sure to hit her up. Um... Ask her what she needs, send her a monetary donation, all that jazz if you're able to. So if you guys still want to be a part of the drive and donate, definitely hit up Kitty. So how is Pablo? Who? JK. Pablo? The YouTuber Pablo? I'm not sure. She wants to get everyone a pair of shoes as well. Kitty is still alive. Okay. Yeah, you have to really shop. Shop the good deals to find decently priced shoes. So I'm glad I was able to find the shoes for them. Find the shoes. Shoes are pretty expensive for kids. For kids, I didn't realize how expensive the shoes were for kids. I was like, oh my gosh. Kids shoes are just as much as adult shoes. I had noticed as I 
was doing my shopping. Regina, thank you for joining. So how did you get involved in charity work? Benjamin, you just do it. <laughs> um, you just do it. There's really nothing else to it, but do it. I feel like with social media, anything is possible as far as like it's not even like you don't even have to like do your own drive you can be a part of somebody's drive and like donate stuff or you know ask if they need help with anything if you want to be a part of stuff like that it's just really donating your own time sometimes your own money or like your own stuff like that Mainly time, though. Time is something. You're donating your time, I should say. Candy cane. <laughs> I'm not saying candy cane again. Hey, candy cane. Um, do you have any plans this weekend? This weekend, I need to clean my my apartment, like, really bad. I need to clean my apartment. So I want to do that this weekend. I want to, like, deep clean and, like, sweet mop. Especially my restroom, I want to clean. So hopefully I'll be able to do that this weekend since this will be, this will all be done. I think unless Kitty needs help, I'll probably help her. But for the most part, I don't have any plans with anything. Um, yep, no plans. Oh, I want to watch. Um, I want to watch Avatar. It comes out on Friday. <gasps> but yeah, I want to watch Avatar. Avatar. Like, I really, really want to watch Avatar, for sure. Um, I heard it's like a three-hour movie, so... I'm gonna have to get some snacks. Sneak in some snacks. For sure. So hopefully I'll do that. I'll watch Avatar. Avatar. I feel like sometimes I just talk res. <laughs> just start talking all resy. This wrapping paper is all all printed, all funny. It's just bugging me. See, look, it has this, like, white, this line right here. It has those lines right there. Right there. It's just messing up the packaging. It's cute, though. ladies thanks for tuning in oh yeah i'm sitting here thinking dang sierra already wrapped how many when i could be doing the same i thought i'll do it tomorrow <laughs> for calculation at its best i know i did one two three i'm on my fourth one yeah i'm on my fourth one Woohoo! okay 
hidden somewhere. I think the reason why I'm like trying to get this done tonight is because I still have like my own personal, personal ones to wrap too. So I'm like, come on, gotta get her done. Um, yes, social media is powerful. You just got to know how to work it. Yes, exactly. I agree. Will there be entry time? Um, I'm not sure. If I'm going to watch Avatar, probably not. Because <laughs> Avatar comes out on Friday. Um, dang it, next week's Christmas. Oh my gosh, my friend. She invited me to like a fancy restaurant. She said it's a fancy schmancy restaurant in Scottsdale. And she, she, um, she, what do you call it? <clears throat> she made reservations for her and her husband to go to this place. But then her husband decided to go all vegan on her. <laughs> um, this is for, okay. Hold on. God, a lot of my pen. Gosh, just messed up my card. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so her husband decided to go all vegan and she made reservations for their anniversary. And now she's like, I have nobody to go to and she put like a $100 deposit at this restaurant and so she asked if I wanted to go with her I told her I would then she told me that oh it's probably gonna cost like about a hundred for your for your meal and I was like what so I was like you know what okay I'll go I'll splurge so I'm excited. That's going to be on Christmas Eve. We're going to go be in my, my friend. I actually haven't seen her in a while. So I'm excited to catch up with her and have a fancy schmancy meal. Maybe I'll vlog it. <laughs> Maybe I'll vlog it. And also I was supposed, I was planning to do vlogmas. And I vlogged for a couple days and then I stopped. So now I'm just like, do I edit? Now I don't want to edit the video because it's all over the place. Like I missed a lot of days. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to release those videos. <clears throat> uh, I would like, I would take you to watch Avatar, but I'm not in Phoenix. <laughs> Thank you. Love music. It's the thought though. Sheep Spring store still there? Yes, it is, but it's it's something else. They it it's it's under a new owner. <clears throat> Sierra, do you remember around this time I prank called you as Che Che? You prank called me as Che Che. I I remember the call. Yeah, that was funny. Yes, I remember. <laughs> okay, wooden blocks time. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. It's funny because I totally forgot about that. But now there's like some dude on here who's who goes by the username Chase Belt, which is kind of like KJ, I guess. <laughs> But, I don't know. I don't know about that guy. It was a little too much. <clears throat> Should I use this? 
Or should I use the ho ho ho? <clears throat> I don't want to open another one though. I should just use the ones I already have. Let's see. I'll have a scrap smear right here. This is not enough though. Siri gave me this one. <laughs> little Santa Claus. Little black Santa Claus moment. Um, I really want to watch Avatar also. I'm so excited to see it. Also can't wait for Mario Brothers. Told my kids I'm going alone because I don't want to be distracted. <laughs> uh, I know. I want to see Avatar. Good night, Sierra. Good night, Dale. Are you a rapper? Rap with me. LOL. <laughs> Where's Mooney? Girl, I'm wondering the same thing. Just kidding. <laughs> Where is Mooney? Where did he go? Should we do candy canes? I feel like I like the candy cane wrapper. Wait, let me see. Um, why, are you, why am I having such a hard time picking the wrapping paper? It shouldn't be this hard. Okay. Let's just pick one and go with it. You know what? I'm just going to open this one. Just going to open this one. I'm trying to save these sleeves so I can put them back in there. Oh, hell no. That dude is too much. Not Mooney and James Bell. I know. It's kind of weird. I hope he's not watching this, but it was a little too much, honestly. I think this should fit this way. Let me double check. But no, that guy like wrote me, um, wrote me an email. I got an email from him. And it was kind of, I don't know. I don't know, man. Got me from a shirt. Not, not really, no, not scared. I shouldn't say scared. It was just a little whoa moment for me. Like, whoa, bro. Calm down. Calm down, bro, with the email. <laughs> Let's just say that. That's the kind of email that it was. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad email. It was just a little woe moment for me. 103 people watching. What are you guys all doing? Come on, talk to me. Get me through this. Let's see. Help me. Make this time go fast. Let's cut off right here. All the kids that I have on my my list are all like like um 
little kids. Kitty has like more on more of the. I think she has like two infants and like majority of hers are teenagers. So I'm pretty sure the clothes on her end probably cost more. The shoes. Oh, the shoes are gonna be so much too. I have faith. I have faith we can do it. <clears throat> what do you mean, whoa moment? <laughs> Dale, if you only knew. Okay. What's on your wish list for Christmas, Sierra? And you better not say a dirty uncle. <laughs> Definitely not a dirty uncle. <laughs> um, my wish list. I really want like a, a small vanity mirror. That's something I really want on my wish list. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty okay with people that gift me things. I'm not picky. I do have an Amazon wish list. Stay. If you guys would like to see it. Just kidding. But um, I've just been sending that to, to people when they're like, what do you want for Christmas? And I just send them that list. I'm just like, here you go. <clears throat> Um, I'm enjoying the live and company. Oh, thank you. I'm at work right now, almost lunchtime. We are also doing a gift drive. Finally got a little tree for just myself. Feeling the Xmas spirit right now. What's your favorite Xmas movie? Oh, cool. Oh, look, your name's Candy Cane. Were you, were you here when I was saying Candy Cane? <laughs> Hey, candy cane. That's gonna be all about this live me saying candy cane. <laughs> um, my favorite Christmas movie has to be Home Alone one and two. Yeah, and The Grinch. I like The Grinch. I could watch The Grinch. I could watch Home Alone one and two. What else? other movies I think those are the main three movies I always maybe watch at some point <clears throat> and I don't mind watching what about you guys what's you guys favorite Christmas movies um I'm getting my things ready for work t tomorrow is the start of a new work week trying to plan my meal prep and shopping time oh wow you meal prep that's good. That's what I need to do. Well, not really, because I work at home. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Cute, cute, cute. This is for... Wait, what was this? Is this blocks? Wait a minute. Was this the blocks, you guys? Chiari. Can you, do you guys remember if it was the blocks? I think it was the blocks, huh? Just lost track. Okay, yes, yes it was. Okay. Okay, okay. I was tripping for a moment. Uh, I better not accidentally write my name instead of Santa. <laughs> it's all from Sierra. <laughs> instead of Santa. 
Poo, poo. There we go. Another one down. We're on a roll today. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, we'd like to know. Well, I'd like to know. <laughs> Dale, just all nosy. Just kidding. Yo, Sierra, good evening. We just got on your live. Kayla, watching from Mesa. We enjoy your lives. Hello, everyone in the live. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Jerry. You know my number. Any ideas of what to buy a man for Christmas? I picked my brother and brother-in-law as Secret Santa, and I'm struggling with ideas. Hmm, you know what? A go-to for me, for my brothers, is a hat a wallet or you could go with the good old socks <laughs> pack of socks um I think those are my go-to's a nice hat like if they wear caps with like the caps with like the football teams or whatever anything like with football teams if they have a team like it could be like a coffee cup or a water bottle or something they're gonna like that um, so yeah, that would be my suggestion. You better gift her everything on her wish list since you're teasing her. <laughs> my favorite is Home Alone as well. Makes the apartment cozy and no, I didn't hear you earlier. Just got on here. Friends call me Candy because I'm Candace. Oh, okay. No, I was saying, um, I don't know if you watched that movie Joyride, but there's, um, we have a candy cane wrapper and every time i was wrapping gifts in the candy cane i was saying candy cane because on that movie that's what that guy says <laughs> i like to watch home alone one and two christmas with the cranks i don't think i've seen christmas with the cranks oh wait maybe i think i have that that's a that's a funny one huh yeah i like that one that's a good one it was the blocks. Okay, <laughs> I was tripping for a little bit. I was like, wait. My mom's favorite is the Polar Express. We always used to watch it when we were wrapping presents. But now that I'm older, I don't know why that movie freaks me out. The animations are too real. <gasps> I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> that would kind of freak me out too, I think. That's funny. I like the Grinch. For a man, pick a cologne. Yeah, or a cologne if you know their scent. But most guys are pretty content with what they get, I think. I've been gifting some Pendleton cups because they went on sale on the website. I got that for some friends on the East Coast and some other family friends. Ooh, those are good gifts. Them cups. Have you seen the movie Four Christmases? It's funny as hell. I don't know. I don't think so. I only have brothers and I got them a Funko Pop of something they're into. Like, for example, a Funko Pop of Devin Booker. That's a good gift for guys, I think. Oh. Yeah, Grinch. And yeah, Christmas with the Cranks is funny. Yes, with Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. I've seen Joyride. Huh? Actually, a Navajo guy I dated showed me that. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I kept saying as well. Candy cane. Hey, candy cane. <laughs> uh, how was your day? My day was good, Gabriel. It's been a good day. Oh yeah, for Christmases is funny too. Well, really got a crash now. Okay, Dale, thanks for tuning in. Maybe I'll spill the beans on that guy sometime <laughs> we'll see our favorite christmas movie is home alone we love it and the kids laugh so much it's like watching for the first time each time we usually order pizza and we watch it oh that sounds nice i gotta put these gifts over there i'm thinking of putting them all in a tote or something hold on i'll show you guys them in a little bit <clears throat> Hold on, hold on.
Okay. I'm going to show you guys the gifts here. So, these are the gifts. That's my tree. <laughs> um, these ones are for my family right here, so ignore those. But from that all the way this way are for the drive. So I've just been throwing them right here. Not throwing them, putting them. Still have these to go. I have this little farm, those blocks. One, two, and another third bag, which is over there, left. So, almost done. I only have these left. <sighs> but these are all the gifts. So, looking pretty good, you guys. Looking pretty good. Let me see. Let me put this back. Put you guys back in position. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty set on all the gifts. Pretty much have everything wrapped. I have this big one I need to do. And then I'll probably call it a night. I think this is my last. I'm going to do the other, the other stuff tomorrow. But I'm gonna do this big one right here. Right her. This is gonna be. Which one is this? This is the eight year old one. Which is. I'll use the ho 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 paper on this one. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. This is going to be big. Yo. <laughs> Gross. Don't say that. The good thing about getting Amazon packages is I've been using the boxes. But I don't think I need to order anything else on Amazon. So I'm like, dang it, I need some boxes. I might just order some stuff from Amazon just for the boxes. Um, and Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, and Roku all out with some good holiday movies oh what do y'all eat for christmas um i think this year my mom's gonna have roast a roast roast beef i think we're having our christmas on new year's though this year i don't think this is gonna reach Okay. Um, 
been doing ham, everyone's tired of turkey. Thank you. Oh, I can't even put my wrapped gifts under my new tree because my cats just go crazy. Oh no. Oh, well, I miss having cats. They would knock down the ornaments, but now we have kids who do the same. <laughs> Gotta love, have ham. How do you organize all your Xmas supplies when the season is over? I'm going to put them, I have a, I have a big tote that I'm going to put them in. So I have one of those big um, yellow black totes. I've had it in my storage for a while. I bought them for when I moved. So I have a few of them in there that I can use. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put them all in one. <laughs> Okay, ding sounds good. Ella, uh, we don't cook a lot with those because a lot of people don't like spice, so we have to set aside for our food. Yeah, so I think I don't I haven't decided what side I'm gonna bring. My sister was asking me and I was just thinking I'm like, I don't even really know what side to pick. I think I might challenge myself to maybe do like some homemade mac and cheese. I've never made homemade mac and cheese before. So I might do that. I might attempt to make homemade mac and cheese for the Christmas dinner that my family's having on New Year's. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy now. <laughs> I'm all getting sleepy. Good night, Sierra. Good night, Michelle. I might end the live after. I'm gonna end the live after I finish this last box. vlog anymore you guys I don't this past year I feel like I haven't vlogged I haven't put out videos like I normally do I feel like this year has definitely been a challenge for me to get vlogs out I'm just trying to figure out what kind of videos to do I feel like, I feel like, I'm just making the same content as other people. <laughs> um, not that you guys probably care or anything, but I feel like we all go to the same events. And I don't know, I feel like I'm not original anymore. I feel like I'm not original. I feel like I'm just... I don't know, you guys. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. How do you guys feel? How do you guys generally feel? Let's have a chapter meeting. An honest chapter meeting. Maybe. Voice your opinions about my channel. <laughs> Or forever hold your peace. Do you guys like the content I'm doing? Do you guys feel like I vlog the same thing as other people vlog? I mean, I think it's just coincidence. Like, we just all happen to go to the same events. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, too. Who knows? Have a great night, Sierra. I'm going to call it a night. I had a super busy weekend and back to work. Okay, Amy, thank you. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you for helping us out. We appreciate your help. Um, I remember if 
from Mickey Mac and Cheese and she used the government cheese. It came out so good. That's the only time I had it. And I'm like, where can I get it? Some government cheese. Dang. I know. Like, I like homemade mac and cheese, but I never made it. So I'm just like, yeah. Do I dare attempt? But we'll see. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to make, though. And maybe, like, some type of dessert. Possibly. She's a big girl right here. Not a big present. A big present here. Um, does Christmas shopping get you all stressed out sometimes, Sierra? This time of the year, you hear crazy stuff about people shopping, fights, etc. I think I'm more stressed about, like, having money to shop, you know? Making, like, trying to budget and stuff. I think that, that stresses me out. And also, yeah, like, places being all crowded and stuff. That kind of stresses me out. Um... And also, like, just how slow people are. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like, dang, why is everybody so slow around the holidays? Like, in the parking lots? They be taking forever. I'm like, hurry up and back out. Okay. I'm not getting mad. <laughs> I don't know. Might just be me impatient. Might be just, like... Because you're waiting in lines in the stores. So when you're going to leave the store, you just get all mad and someone's all backing out also. <laughs> I don't know. Are you guys like that too? Like, do you guys feel like you're more impatient? Or is it just like people are just slower? I don't know. I don't know if it's me or the people. your family home food and dog content people watch you because you are authentic I like that you are respectful and put your own finesse on it don't doubt yourself thank you I need to I just yeah I just need to not overthink it and just do it just do it Sierra just vlog um, the community service is wonderful. I think that you're inspiring. Thank you. I feel like when a, whatever you vlog is always entertaining because of your personality, it would be awesome to see the creative side of you, like right now, maybe like how you do graphic design. I, yeah, that would be, that would be cool to do, but can't really show my work stuff. I don't really do any personal like whew. she's done like yay. I think I'm gonna stand it up like this maybe. No, let's put it down. I've always liked your channel. No, not the same thing. Be nice if you did a vlog. If you did vlog a lot, but you have your job, so it's understandable. I enjoy your content. I would watch you over anyone else. Aw, oh, thank you. Or how you take care of your plants and showing the different types they are. I think I know. That's one thing that people have been requesting is to do a plant tour, which I do want to do. I do need to do that. Um... Because my plants are my babies. <laughs> Definitely want to do a plant tour. But I feel like I'm like, oh, I need to I need to repot this plant. I need to do this to this plant before I do a video. And then there's I get like five more plants and I'm like, oh I need to do this to this video. I just need to do it. 
Prince here just needs to do it. <laughs> um, I love your channel. That's why I'm still here and will never ever leave. A, eh? <laughs> hey, that's the type of attitude we need. This is for number the older kid, number one. Um. Dale Clark, you forgot to change your image, lol. Who? Well, what happened? What I miss? <laughs> Make some buffalo chicken dip. Yum, that's my go-to. <gasps> what is that? Buffalo chicken dip. Never heard of that. Let me know what that is. Ooh, I wish I had a big, big bow to put on this. We'll just put a white one on here. Oh, tiny bow. <laughs> tiny bow and a big package. Yay. Mmm. Hi there, Sierra from Albuquerque. Thank you for putting up. Thank you, ladies, for putting a smile on the children's faces this Christmas. Thank you, Evelyn. Thanks to everybody who donated. That's helping to make this possible. <clears throat> Although in the same way, I hate it when people are walking right down the middle of the aisle when I'm trying to find a parking spot and they just look at you like you're the problem. <laughs> I know. You're like, hurry. Then you just park and you're all on your phone. <laughs> That's how I am. I'm like, why was I getting mad at that person? Oh. Hi, Sierra. We love you and your content original and paved the way for other tubers. Thank you, Night Rain. How do you make buffalo chicken dip? Because I want to know to drop the recipe. I know. I never heard of that. Buffalo chicken dip. That comment was to PDS. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Am I missing something? Tell me. Okay. Woohoo, we're done with this one. Basically, I'm done for tonight. Done with all the ones I wanted to wrap. Oh. Um, yeah, I think I'm done with the ones I wanted to wrap. Let's see. I definitely, I want to put all the gifts in a, a taupe box or something. That way I can just easily carry it out when it's ready to go. <sighs> I need to put my family's gifts probably in the back of the tree. Um, I don't know. I feel like my eyes are all red. Uh, you all talking about buffalo chicken dip makes me want to try again to make some cauliflower hot wings. A non-meat version of hot wings. I like chicken wings, but sometimes I like to try non-meat stuff. Oh, I've heard of cauliflower hot wings. I've never tried it, but I've heard of it. Hi, just Heather. Are you done shopping? I am not done shopping. I still need to shop for a few things. Um, I need to shop for my two brothers. Um, my two brothers. I think my brother's girl, oh, my, my sister's boyfriend, my brother's girlfriend. I don't know if I should buy my brother, my other brother's girlfriend something. I don't really know her. <laughs> um, I still have a few things I need to get, but it shouldn't be too hard. I know what I'm going to get them, so it should be good to go. Um, so I have a few things I need to get still. Yeah. 
Kitty logged off a few minutes ago. I think she got done wrapping. <laughs> but it don't slap the same. I don't know. I didn't see her wrapping. I don't think she was wrapping. Um, are y'all going to rent a U-Haul to deliver the Christmas gifts? Um, I don't think so. There's not too much. I don't have a lot. I don't think Kitty, I don't know about how much Kitty will have, but I don't think it's enough to like rent a U-Haul. Buffalo chicken dip is just shredded chicken, cream cheese, ranch, cheddar cheese, and Frank's hot buffalo sauce all mixed and melted together. It's a spicy dip. Oh, sounds delicious. Mmm. Getting me all hungry over here. <laughs> but I just finished the wrap, the last gift I wanted to wrap. Thank you guys for, thank you to everybody who tuned in and also those of you who donated. This wouldn't be possible without you every single person that donated thank you thank you thank you um not only to me but also to kitty if you do want to be a part of the drive and help out reach out to kitty um she still needs a few things to get for her white mountain apache kids youth home I took care of the San Carlos Youth Home. I only had six kids, so Kitty has 12, which is twice as much as I did, so I cannot imagine <laughs> how many stuff she has. So definitely reach out to her uh, to see how to donate and help her out with getting those kids done. Um, I might have, a, I think I have some funds left over to send her away. And then also enough for gas, I think. So um, I think I did pretty good with the shopping and was able to get all the kids their items. Each kid did get, um, each kid got pants, a jacket, a pack of socks, pack of undies, shoes, and two toys. So, um, some of the kids though, some of the kids maybe got a sweater and a jacket. Some of the kids maybe got two pants or maybe some of the kids got like a pair of pants and some sweat. So there's like some of, some, some of them did get an, a little extra, but it was only because, um, it was just a good sale. <laughs> like I saw a good sale item and I just got it. And yeah, so oh, your girl's tired. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to wash my face, go to sleep, and do work again tomorrow. Mm, I really enjoyed your vlogs. The travel is the best. Hoping you will keep sharing your journey. Watching from Ojo in Sino, New Mexico. Thank you, Mervin. I'll keep vlogging. I just don't know how often I'm going to do it. I'm going to really try though. I'm going to really try to get back to my usual vlogging. But this year, for some reason, I just haven't been into it. <laughs> Not into it, but like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just been hard, I guess. It's kind of hard because like I work from home and I'm not out there. And the day just flies by really fast for me. Thanks for the live, Sierra, and thank you for tuning in. Yes, to contact Kitty, it's what would Kitty do 12 at gmail.com. I enjoy your lives. Would you consider doing a cooking live sometime and see you prepare your famous dish? I thought of that. Maybe, maybe I'll do a live. <laughs> Shoot, maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Just kidding. I don't know. We'll see. What? It's only nine in Phoenix? <laughs> no, it's. It's 11.20. Yeah. It's 11.20 right now. Did I say it's 9? I don't know. Might be tired. But I'm going to get going, you guys. 
yes tomorrow <laughs> Um, but I'm going to get going, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. And I will see you guys soon. So, bye guys. Good night. Sleep all good tonight. Me. Go cuddle up with your boo thing. <laughs> Just kidding. But, alright you guys. <sighs> I'll see you guys. Bye.